Ladies and gentlemen, as we welcome uh, JMU to the uh, interview room, I want to remind you, please, uh, that uh, check your cell phones and mobile devices. Make sure they're on silent. And then when you have a question, just raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. And then uh, tell us who you are and what media organization you're with. And then direct questions to uh, the student athletes. Uh, we'll begin with an opening statement from Coach Brooks, and then we'll have uh, questions for the student athletes, and we'll come back to Coach. So, uh, Coach, welcome to Louisville. Well, thank you. Uh, we're, we're very excited to be here. Uh, it never gets old. Uh, you know, so far we've been here. Uh, everyone here has been very hospitable, uh, making this experience for us very enjoyable. And, and that, that means a lot to me uh, because these kids have worked so hard all, all throughout our season. Uh, we started the year, you know, faced with a lot of adversity, losing our our uh, previous player of the year and uh, you know I, I was gloom and doom you know, I didn't know what to expect because I wanted so much for these kids and uh, and the two you know they, they're right beside me they, they just said coach we'll be okay and uh, throughout the whole year you know we had to reinvent ourselves uh, a couple times throughout the year uh, but they did a great job of doing everything and anything that we asked of them and as a result you know it was a fantastic year uh, you know even losing Precious Hall you know, we never once asked any of these kids to, uh, to fill in for Precious or be Precious Hall. We asked Jasmine to be a little bit more of Jasmine. We asked, you know, uh, Ashley to be a little bit more of Ashley. We asked, uh, you guys look at her as Angela Mickens, but we call her Muff Mickens. We asked Muff to be a little bit more of Muff. And, uh, and as a result, you know, they just came through and uh, it probably rewarded me, uh, my coaching staff, with one of the better years that we've ever had uh, in JMU women's basketball. So we're looking forward to the opportunity. We know we're going to be playing a... Um, uh, a great opponent, uh, well coached team. Anytime you're playing a team and their coach has his name on the floor, you know they're going to be well coached. And uh, so we're looking forward to it. It's exciting basketball. Uh, they get up and down the floor just like we like to get up and down the floor. We're very, very excited about that. Uh, it seems like it's been forever since we played, you know, man to man or somebody who wants to run with us. So we're looking forward to it being a very, very exciting basketball game. Thank you, Coach. Questions for the JMU student athletes, please. Josh Abner, Associated Press. Uh, for any of the players, Coach talked about the adversity, but now you've reeled off 20 straight wins. What has gone into building off that adversity and building that kind of streak? Jasmine first, please. Um, I, it just it goes with trusting your teammates. Um, we've been through so many practices, um, good and bad, and then games where we have to go into overtime, and it, it comes to grinding it out. Um, that was our motto this year after Precious Hall going down. Um, even Ashley when she had her minor injury. Uh, but it, it comes to trust the chemistry on the court. Ashley, then Megan. Um, I think it's just that we all hold each other accountable. Um, I think every day we kind of, um, everyone's required to show up to practice and work hard. And that's something that, um, you know, we, um, we build throughout the season. So. I meant Angela, please. Um, through, through the hard work, we also have fun, you know, and the chemistry and the bond that we have is something serious. So uh, with the hard work comes come smiles and laughs at the same time. Matt Andrews, Louisville Learfield. For any of the players, your styles are similar to Paul and you, with the way you want to get up and down, like, like Coach spoke of. Normally, I'm guessing teams want to slow you down. But now DePaul's going to probably want to play with you in that regard, figuratively. What are your thoughts on that? Ashley? I mean, we're looking forward to it. Um, DePaul's def definitely different than other teams that we've played this season. So we're excited. Jasmine? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, we strive off of um, playing really good defense so we can get on offense. Um, our transition, you know, it, it, we like to run. You know, it starts with Muff getting that ball and we're going. And that's how we, we, we get so many uh, chances on the offensive boards because we're, we're always wanting to keep the ball. Angela? Welcome to the track meet. <laughs> More questions? Uh, for the seniors, just overall, what does it uh, mean to you to be in the NCAA tournament? We'll just go down the line again. Jasmine, Ashley, Angela. Uh, yeah, it means a lot. Um, this is our last go-around. You know, we're not going to get another chance like this. 
ever now. I mean, we're seniors, and we really want to go out with a bang. Um, no, it's really exciting because, like, you know, growing up, you always want to play against the best, and the NCAA tournament is kind of our opportunity to play with teams, you know, the best teams in the country. So it's, it's just something, um, it's just a great experience. Um, I think it's rewarding for how hard we actually work, you know. Seniors actually lead the team, so we, we, have, we have teammates, freshmen, a lot of freshmen, who uh, will, will continue rolling for us. So it's, it's great to set that example for them. Angela or Muff, you said that, uh, welcome to the track meet, but you guys are also one of the top, I believe actually the top team in terms of three-point defense and also a really strong rebounding team. What, what is it that your coaches preach to you? What, what's your kind of defensive mantra? Uh, getting back in transition is going to be a big key for us. And uh, def as long as we defend, defend the three and make sure we, we continue to be us, I, I think we'll be fine. Okay, any more questions for the JMU student athletes? One question, you guys have one of the earliest games of the, the tournament on Friday, which will lead into a really early uh, pregame session. Is this the earliest you've ever had in, in that kind of session? Or what, how, does that change your, your preparation at all? I think a 6.30 walkthrough in the morning. Jasmine, no. No, uh -oh. Coach, go ahead. You can. Uh, we're not taking that 6.30 walkthrough in the morning. <laughs> Trust me on that. <laughs> Uh, but now our first round game this year was 12 o'clock. Uh, I think we had one more other game, um, I think in a tournament setting that was 12 o'clock. So uh, they're uh, actually our last game of the season yeah. was at 12 o'clock. So uh, it, it's not what you prefer, uh, but they're used to it. They understand it, and uh, we'll, we'll be okay with that. So in uh, taking that, that session, how does that change your preparations? Uh, you know, we, we have a lot of time. We'll go over some stuff here today. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I, I don't even think that DePaul's taking theirs. Um, it's just so early. But what we can do that's different from the later game, we're able to get out on the floor an hour before, and the kids will be able to get out there and shoot a little bit more. Uh, Anything else for the ladies? All right, we'll let them go and uh, have questions for Coach Brooks in a second. Thanks, ladies. Good luck. All right, now let's go to Coach Brooks. Start here and then go back to Matt. Hi, Jim Neuter from Scout. Coach, DePaul's RPI is 29, I believe. Yours is 30. Both you and Coach Bruno have talked about how similar your programs are. What, in your opinion, will be the, be the degree of separation tomorrow between the two teams? I think that um, the team that imposes their will uh, and, and does what they do best and, and does it better than the other team uh, will prevail. Um, we're very similar, but we're, uh, we're contrasting in certain areas. Um, they love to shoot the three. I don't know if we played against a team that uh, attempts more threes than they do. And, uh, and our defense, um, the fact that we led the country in, in three-point field goal percentage defense is not by accident. You know, I'm a coach that my pet peeve is I don't like people shooting a lot of three-pointers against us. And we do a really good job of running people off the line. But we haven't played against someone who really dedicates their offense to three-pointers as much as uh, DePaul does. So they're going to run their style. We're going to try to run them off of it. And I think the team that prevails uh, in that area will probably be uh, victorious. But everything else, I think we're very similar. Um, you know, they're probably, you know, we, we've scouted some teams. Uh, and uh, this is probably my favorite part of the year when you get to watch different types of teams. Uh, I don't know if I've seen a team that is a better passing team than this team. Uh, they just seem to know, you know, where they want to be, and you know, one through five, they're great passers. So we're going to have our we're going to have our challenges, and we understand that. We've spoken a lot about similarities. Both of you lost to Baylor by 14 points. Have you compared, contrasted film at all on that, or is that so far ago that that's not on the table now? We've actually focused on them more recently. Uh, what they've done, uh, we we're aware of that situation. Uh, ironically for us. Uh, that Baylor game for us was the game that we grew up. Uh, we, we, were, we were, you know, in the process of reinventing ourselves, and lo and behold, we had back-to-back -back games against Big 12 opponents, West Virginia and Baylor, and uh, in, in particular, our, our center, Kayla Cooper-Williams. Uh, at that point, when she played against Baylor, I figured we were going we to be pretty good this year. Uh, Kim Mulkey, she actually came up to me after the game, and she said, you guys are a heck of a team. I'll see you at the NCAA tournament. Lo and behold, we're in the Dallas region, so I hope she's right, and I hope we get to see her later on. But uh, 
that was a game that we grew up, you know. Um, but as far as, you know, cross comparisons, uh, we really haven't done that. We've really focused more on what they've done recently. Coach, walk through this 20-game win streak. What goes into building that? What moments stand out to you from that? And, and how do you not let the expectations and the pressure of that get to you at this point? You know, it's, it's ironic that uh, we're in a 20-game win, uh, winning streak because we haven't looked at it that way at all. Uh, we, we have really, when, when you're a mid-major like we are and you're fighting for respectability, you know, we went into this summer uh, with the expectations that we could possibly be a top 25 team to start the season. Uh, you know, with the talent that we have, we felt like, you know, the credibility we had. Uh, and then when, we, when Precious Hall went down, that's devastating to us. And it could be devastating to a lot of mid-major programs. A person of her caliber goes down 21 points a game from a mid-major. You take that away. Um, but we, we never hung our heads. You know, uh, you know Muff and, and Jasmine, you know, after they, la they learned of her fate, they looked at me very calmly and they said, um, we'll be okay. You know, and from that moment, I was like, okay, we're going to be fine. Uh, but we had to find ways to invent ourselves and reinvent ourselves. So throughout this whole streak, we haven't concentrated on, okay, we've won five in a row, we've won eight in a row. It was really focusing on the next game. And, uh, and you get caught up in focusing on the next game, lo, lo and behold, it, all of a sudden it's a 15-game winning streak. You know, then all of a sudden you know, it's 18 and then you get to the tournament. And when you're at mid-major, you know, that's all you're thinking about is winning three more. You know, you're not even cared about the 17 previous because – you know, if we don't win and we're, you know, we're a um, top 30 program, we don't know if we're in, you know, because we don't have the opportunities that most people have to come up with an upset, come up with a top 50 win. And uh, so we just really focused on the next day. And that's what made this group very special is that they didn't look to what they had accomplished. It was like, okay, what do we need to do to get better every day? And, uh, and again, it grew. You know, it, it became two, it became five, it became eight, 10, you know, 15, and all of a sudden it's 20 and you're the CAA champions. And now you're going on forward. Anything else for Coach? Great. Thanks for your time. Good luck.